We often talk about how 3D printing is definitely going to replace injection molding at some point, but we don't actually talk about the parts of 3D printing that will themselves be replaced. Today we're going to talk about why we want to make print farms obsolete. So back when Google was getting started, Larry and Sergey built their own servers, and they ended up building a small server rack inside of their Stanford dorm room in order to run the search system. But then later on, as the next generation of internet companies came up, like Netflix and Facebook, instead of building their actual hardware for their servers, they just went ahead and hosted it on Amazon Web Services at that point. That's basically what we're going for. Right now, a lot of people build print farms to produce individual products or categories of products for a small business. And that's a great way of doing it because it gives you a lot of control of your product and getting it out the door. But the problem is that in addition to having to design the product, take care of your customers and do all the logistics of actually operating a business, you also have to run a small factory. A factory that is generally quite inefficient because you're not set up to run a factory. You aren't able to purchase large amounts of material so that you can get large discounts. You are not able to hire people who can stand around and operate the machines all day. As a small business, you don't have the economy that come with scale. That's what we hope to provide. As we continue to grow our large print farms like the mega farm and our secondary factories going in, we are able to take advantage of scale to where we can input robotics so that there is less labor and make that investment in that. We're able to continually implement new hardware so that we're up with the latest capabilities that are needed for any given parts that are made. And we're able to take advantage of supplier relationships and our own internal filament production, which again is a large investment that small print farms aren't able to make, but allow us to offer low-cost services. Ultimately, what this does is it allows us to create a print farm to where nobody else needs a print farm. You're able to use us as a service, and we are able to print and ship a part for you or a thousand parts for you. If we do our job right, there is no reason that anyone should ever have to build a print farm. You should be able to focus on creating a fantastic product that people actually want, iterating on it, trying stuff out, creating new items the way people would create new websites, and find out if customers actually want it. And when they do, you now have the back-end support to go from one printer to a thousand printers if you happen to invent the next fidget spinner. And that's only possible because we have a thousand printers. And a small print farm has a lot of challenges between going from one printer to a thousand printers. So if we do our job right, hopefully 3D printing farms will be obsolete. And that's what we're pushing for. Ultimately, we want to get to the point to where we're just a warehouse where the shelves make the product. Have a great day, everybody.